such a manual task, but we, we've got this. Uh, there's two grinding wheels and let's in double disc grinders, and they're opposed, one on each side of the machine. And in a 30-inch machine, uh, the wheels mount on a 30-inch diameter plate that can be up to three inches thick. That's a lot of weight. And then you put probably a five-inch thick grinding wheel on it, which is 30 inches in diameter, and might have different variations in the, the center hole. If you want. There's a lot of weight there. To change the wheel, you have to come in and remove those from inside, you know, the grind zone, a small work box. And for years, again, going back even before the 50s, it's it's been a very unsafe, costly process. You pick it up with a crane or a high low on a chain, and you walk it over the machine and wherever you got to go with it, and then you set it on the floor as you're lowering the crane or the jib crane manually, and, and you take your foot and you've got to lay this thing over. And you get these these moments, you know, where it can rotate around or it can fall, the eye bolt can break, you know, chain can slip, anything can go wrong. Or you can just chip the tool, which is the, the grinding one. And over the years, we uh, everybody's complained about it. And, and we even got caught in, well, there's just nothing you can do. It's the nature of the beast. That's it. And as safety becomes more in the forefront over the last 10, 15 years, and, uh, you know, you got uh, everybody working uh, to try to cut the cost of health care and, and workman's comp and stuff like that. So we started paying a little more attention to it. And... Uh, Probably within just a few weeks, we came up with the original idea of the change card. And what you do is, once you get it hanging from, let's say, your jib crane or your crane, and it's on the, the eye bolt, you carry it over to this cart, which is towable, uh, by the high low or a tug or whatever in your plant, and you lower it down and you put it right on the pilot, because he's pilot on a little nose to kind of help you balance it on the machine or to center it. And you put a couple bolts in from behind, and then you literally just crank a handle. I mean, it's just so easy, you know, it's just the weight of the handle, and then this thing rotates over horizontally. Then you raise a, a, a table up to it, it's got some rollers on it that's a flexible table, and you just unbolt from behind the, the wheel, and you lower the table down, uh, the one I showed you is pneumatic. And then you just slide the old abrasive off, and then you slide a new abrasive on, and then you raise it up. And the, the abrasives uh, are piloted for balance and centering on two different size uh, dowel pins. 180 degrees apart, about a 28-inch uh, circle. And uh, so we made the table flexible. It rolls on some die balls, and, and you can move it in and out, and it can't fall off or anything. It's got, you know, it's protected. And and you just push push a lever, pull a lever, and you just, I mean, you just guide it on there. And then what used to take, you know, hours, you know, it could take a day in some plants, but, you know, five, six hours to change a set of grinding wheels, uh, can be done in an hour or less now, and uh, you know you're not chipping it. Your eye bolts. I mean, we just addressed all the issues on it, and it's transferable. Uh, it, it's just a, a pretty unique idea. But if you look at it now that it's done, we're thinking, why has nobody done this before? And I, and I think it's just one of those. It was it was just too simple, or it was too easy to say there there's no way to do it, and, and nobody just put the effort in.